What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about why girls seem to have more interest in guys when that guy shows this interest in the girl. And this is something that I've noticed quite a few times from many different people, many different sources who don't really understand girls well enough and they're like, my girlfriend is just acting so strange. Like, this has happened so many times before where when I would show this interest or when I'm not really interested in a girl, she start to be interested in me. It's it's the most screwed up thing ever. It's it's so freaking messed up. It doesn't make sense, but that's how it works. Like I've noticed it. And this has happened and I've heard it happen many times from many different people. And I understand how it works and I was just really astonished as as to how many people have no idea. So what's common sense to me will be explained to you and I understand at one point this didn't used to be common sense. Um, I did a lot of reading up on dating and um, I'm a biology major so I have a lot of evolutionary background and so all this sort of adds up and that's why I know, know a lot about this to a point where it's more common sense now and to the average Joe it's just this sort of paradox where um, you would assume or they would assume because for me it, it makes more sense the other way but they would assume the more interest I was showing the girl the more interest she should show back but instead it's this this other way around isn't that so screwed up and yet I see it all the time what, like what's what the heck's going on and they also add on examples about oh yes um, it's happened too with girls that I'm not interested in and they're always the girls that like me whereas the girls I'm interested in they don't like me what the heck's going on and and the girls I'm not interested in I show this disinterest and that just turns them on even more so without further ado let's get started on why this is going on so evolutionarily females and males of the homo sapiens species as with every species in existence is constantly being naturally selected for now the changes will take thousands of generations sometimes to alter any sort of traits predominant in, in this in the population and so yada 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 what's the point why the females like your disinterest more because it conveys a lot of things that show that you are more more likely to be a better mate therefore producing better offspring for her children and thus they have a better chance of surviving how well think about it if you're disinterested in a girl that conveys a magnitude of potential reasons why most if not all of them implying something good about you not always though but done in the right way it will not like an asshole way but in, in a sort of um, just polite disinterested way how think about it if you're disinterested in the girl it could con it conveys the fact that maybe you have abundance of women versus the person who is showing a little too much interest in a girl on the other side of the spectrum it conveys the opposite scarcity of women potential desperation in finding a mate thus low value as a male either through social status monetary status or other forms of status and on top of that you it also implies that you're probably desperate and so into trying to impress this girl because it's your only option or you you don't have too many options and that conveys many potential reasons as to why you don't have too many options none of which the girl really cares about because at the end of the day all those options mean that this guy does just doesn't have what it takes um it could be that he just doesn't have that many friends could be that he just isn't high social status so no girls are interested could be that she he's just a creep or he could, many possible reasons and these sort of things convey over and long story short all this happens automatically naturally without the girl having to stop and think about it 
and for it to go through. It's programmed into the girl biologically. Why? Because it's evolutionary. The, the females who did not do this died and did not pass these traits on to their offspring. The ones who did have this inclination had a better chance of surviving because they had a better chance at finding a mate or a leader of a tribe or whatever who provided for their children and therefore gave the children the best chance of survival, reproduction, and plentiful resources. So you get the point, right? And therefore, through thousands of generations and selection, most females of our age seem to have these sort of traits where they just naturally incline without them having to think about it or logically reason it out. Their bodies are automatically reacting and they're like, okay, I, I, I like, I, I'm starting to like these sort of vibes, these sort of behaviors and not these sort of behaviors. And so long story short, you got two sides of the spectrum, interest, disinterest. Now constantly showing disinterest in the girl is another topic for another day. That in itself will get boring at times. Um, but the, the, what I'm talking about in terms of disinterest are the guys who, they show that they like the girl, but they prove also at other times that they have, they can show disinterest in the girl. Um, whether it's because he has more important stuff or priorities to handle other than the girl. And that in itself is key because when you compare that to the loser guy who's desperate and needy and always interested in a girl, he can never do that. He can never show disinterest because um, he's, he's desperate for girls. His priority is finding a mate and it shows through his body language behavior and how he carries himself and talks. And that desperation bleeds through and the girl's just not freaking interested. And that's, it's, it's kind of how it works. Why? Because disinterest, it's, it's, it's a priority thing. It, it's pretty much saying, okay, you're a cool girl. I like you, but you're not the number one thing in my world. In fact, a real man should not make it his number one priority. There should be other things that sh are more important. And I'm not afraid to tell you about that and express it to you. The thing is though, the guy who's desperate or, or has a scarcity of women conveys all these things through his body language and you pretty much can literally say to yourself holy crap I, I, I and this is me you know pretending to be the the desperate man holy crap I I can't put disinterest or, or show any disinterest in this girl because then she won't like me and because she's my number one priority and everything else is second to her therefore I will not show disinterest even if I have to go to work or I have to do uh, go to my job or get this done or get this chore done and that's another distinction think about it. one type of man will do certain things that this sort of desperate guy will never do that type of man is willing to put things like changing the world ahead of the girl. He's the type of guy who, who's, who's heading or part of a project revolving around nonprofit, uh, charity work, something like what Bill Gates is doing with his uh, foundation, creating vaccines to save the world. And he, he's willing to do stuff like that. He's willing to partake in such movements. It doesn't have to be a charity movement. It could be a, 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 a peaceful movement like what, what um, Gandhi did or something other, like, other than that, a business where he places priority and he very much enjoys and he is willing to express to any female that this takes priority over other things because this is more important changing other people, 
helping other people is more important than me getting this girl. And that is a valuable trait that I personally very much respect. Whether or not it's evolutionarily ingrained into my reactional behavior, it's something I, I truly respect. Whereas when you compare that to that guy, that other guy, he's the type of guy who probably won't do revolutionary stuff. He probably doesn't take the time to go to charity work or do anything like that. He's probably got some mundane job and he's very selfish. And that that bleeds through. And his selfishness, um, selfish, it, uh, selfishness in itself isn't a horrible thing. But it bleeds through in showing that he's very scarce in sort of resources and he's not willing to put other priorities first because his value system is screwed up in a sense that he his number one priority is girls and therefore he's not willing to show disinterest so i hope that made sense a little bit of rambling going on but i i think i got the general point anyhow uh that's all i want to say in a nutshell as always like favorite share and subscribe this video and I'll see you in my next video if you subscribe. Remember, it's free to hit the subscribe button below. And if you think this video will benefit someone, please share with that person. And thanks for watching. And also, just to add on to this, I apologize if this video was not as clear. I will make another one, but I did, I, I did feel that um, there were some good moments of flow and uh, good examples that I mentioned in this video so most likely i'll be still uploading this one but i think i'll do a clearer one with different examples and a few extra points uh, which will also be uploaded very soon so stay tuned for that if you felt this one wasn't as clear as need be or uh didn't address certain areas um i apologize and i will do another one and both of these will be uploaded this one and the one i'm going to make i'll see you guys later